Hello everyone and welcome back. Weekends are my lifeline and I really look forward to them. Unlike regular days, weekends give the slight freedom to escape from the daily task. While 20% of the task still remain constant as my family is dependent on me, but since there are no alarms, no morning rush and literally no pressure of timeline, this little freedom allows me to structure my day the way I want. Even though there are no alarms, I choose to wake up really early on weekends. The idea is to tick off those 20% of the mundane task as soon as possible to be able to stretch and shape the remaining lot in the way I like. While breakfast still has time, I started with working on the lunch scenario first to get a few things ready in advance. I had pre-soaked rice last night for the sponge dosa for lunch today. Since it needs to ferment for 4 to 5 hours, I will first grind the batter and leave it to ferment. You all know my weekend cookings are always special, but to escape long hours in the kitchen, today I decided to keep the meal simple but different and delicious from what we usually eat. I still feel that the time of fermentation is less but considering summer time I am hoping for the best. Food is a time critical task and once this will be done I'll jump on to my weekend cleaning routine which I find the hardest. Lunch scene is sorted and now I'll jump into my weekend cleaning. With kids being around timely cleaning takes priority. Otherwise the house ends up looking like a literal zoo all the time. At times mundane jobs can really feel monotonous and the mind just denies going on autopilot. But as I said earlier, as a homemaker, we have the power to shape our days and change things around to suit our interests, time and needs. I have recently read that willpower has a time limit and doesn't last long. Doing the most difficult task first thing in the day helps in building momentum, gives a positive winning feeling and frees up the remaining time to do what we can enjoy. It takes just a small mindset shift but the result is very rewarding. I have created a set cleaning routine for my convenience that I follow blindly and is really working well. Bathroom deep cleaning is a part of the weekly cleaning routine and I prefer to do the same before kids wake up because after that there will be a big pause in the household chores. Here is an awesome hack to clean the bathroom tiles with a breeze. If you have any old loofah just dip it into washing liquid and scrub every nook and corner of the bathroom in a breeze. Another great tip is to keep a scrub on the soap case which soaks up the excess soap and also comes in handy to wash the basin area daily. While it's logical to clean the bathroom at the end, but at times when priority hits, logic fails to make sense. My today's priority is to strike the right balance between work and leisure. So more than following a trend, I follow a routine that is convenient for me and my family and can still give me a feeling of accomplishment. Cleaning dust is a daily affair, but this weekend time with my family is rare. So either this way or that, I will focus on the end result, which is that the job is done nicely and timely.
The first thing I focus on right after kids wake up is brushing their teeth as oral care makes a wholesome part of their health regime. Colgate Kids exclusive oral care range is a complete package to take the dental worry off your list. Parents often think that milk teeth are temporary and tend to put them lower on their priority list. But on a contrary, milk teeth are very important for the health of future adult teeth of kids. As per dentists, cavities in milk teeth can increase the risk of cavities in adult teeth by 3 times. Can we really afford to take that big chance? I opted for Colgate Kids 3 to 5 years toothpaste and toothbrush as it helps in protecting the thinner enamel of milk teeth of Ruthvi and prevents cavities to a great extent. With no preservatives, sweeteners or colors, Colgate is an absolutely safe bet for kids, saving them from the possible germs and tooth decay. Kids are up and it's breakfast time. And it's been quite a while since I had prepared poha. Karthik is not a big fan, but I love kanda poha. And there was a time when I was totally addicted to it. Now that we are talking, let me tell you a small story about it. I was working in Mumbai and used to travel one and a half hours one side to reach my office. For any Mumbai car, it's not a big deal. If you agree with me, then give me a quick thumbs up. So, since the commute time was long, I really used to get hungry by the time office begins. Thankfully, we had all kinds of food stalls below the office and one day, I found a bhaiya selling kanda poha. Although with the look of it, I had second thoughts because they just looked so simple and bland to me. I deliberately took the small plate to taste it. And that's it. I just got trapped. It was simply finger licking good. The next day, I went again and decided to watch him cook. With just so basic ingredients, he came with the exact same taste and that too in that bulk quantity. No wonder he used to have such long queues during breakfast hours. But that really pushed me to keep trying this favourite dish and starting from a hard and chewy poha, I have risen to making soft and delicious kanda poha that my family enjoys a lot. So if you are a newbie and think that cooking is not your cup of tea, hang on. It just needs that will to try again. Today I had planned a little fun bathing session for kids. Summers have peaked early this time and even evening time is too hot for them to step out. So this little change will surely cheer their spirits up. While the kids are enjoying their time, I will start by sorting the pantry. Pantry sorting every weekend helps in saving a lot of time and money in the coming days. I start by refilling the empty containers first. This frees up the space in the pantry and cleaning the area becomes much easier. Then I take all the remaining groceries out and revise my pantry list. I also check my expiry dates and keep those food items aside that need to be consumed soon. I had shared this awesome hack to create your no effort pantry list in my previous video that I'll link in the description for you all to check. Once my pantry list is updated, I then sit 
and prepare my meal plan including the food items that I have kept aside. This helps in so many ways. Saving money, saving time to think about what to cook, adding new meal ideas to my meal plan and the biggest of all, avoiding any food waste. So between everything, I do not change Ruthvi's study routine. Although it's not about studies, but with kids of this age, keeping the momentum of routine is much more important than retaining the routine even if there is a gap of one day. So even a short study session of 15 to 20 minutes keeps both of us happy. I think more than weekends, it's Karthik's presence at home that relaxes us more. It literally takes a village to raise a kid and so with two of them, his support becomes all the more crucial. Lots of pending conversations, future plans, giggles and gossips come out when the family is together. And just like that, it was lunch time. Today's lunch was soft sponge dosa with vegetable stew. It is just two items on the plate, but the platter is full of nutrition and loaded with taste. I enjoy traveling primarily to taste different cuisines. Stew is one such great memory of Kochi. I had it first at a cafe in Fort Kochi and being a huge coconut fan, I knew I can have it all day, every day. So in order to fulfill that wish, I had to learn to cook it. Cooking stew is so easy and basic. And did I tell you, it gets ready in just 15 minutes. Another of my favorite coconut based dish is green thai curry. The recipe is already up on the channel, which I'll link in the description below. The authenticity and flavors of the meal can vary from kitchen to kitchen. But trying new dishes and matching them to suit your taste buds encourages one to make them part of your regular meals, else they just become a one-time affair. I also do the same and keep a cookbook ready to select dishes based on my time and ingredient. The delicious aroma of spices, a healthy portion of veggies, and the sweet and creamy texture of coconut milk were enough to turn this stew into a magic potion and impress everyone who will eat this. It was now time to check the dosa batter and I felt the fermentation was not really complete. But it will still make the dosas delicious. Just a little salt and I'll spread the batter onto the tawa and cover it to cook from one side only. The sponge dosa is ready and as the name say, it is really very spongy. With such less effort, I was happy to plate quite a healthy and delectable food out. Karthik thanked me so much for cooking this today and Ruthvi was just so happy with the softness of the dosa. The plate today took me back to Kochi and I was super proud of myself. Afternoon time is kids nap time and as I said earlier, weekends are the day to strike that right balance. I had booked an in-house spa session today to reset myself for the week ahead. A little something that will motivate me to push myself on weekdays and plan another exciting weekend next time. I hope this video will give you some cooking ideas some motivation for household chores, some help in making a weekend routine and a big push for some self-care. If yes, give me a big thumbs up and connect with me in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel to help this channel grow big and join me on Instagram for some daily life updates. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned and stay connected.